Hello everyone and welcome to this week's short video tutorial. This will be part number 5 from chapter 5, section 1. Uh, discussing pins by the canon. Uh, it's based on the free ebook that's available for download. The URL is given below in the comment section. Uh, unfortunately, the example 5 here is a slightly flawed example. Uh, but uh, we shall still go through it to see uh, what the authors were trying to teach or explain. So a quick analysis, red would have two cannons, one chariot, black would have the same thing, and both colors would have a one elephant, single elephant guard. Now, uh, it is red's turn to move, the chariot, the cannon, black was asking for a trade of cannons, but how can red try to gain some advantage in this situation? Now, um, the black king is in this file, while the red king is in this file, and uh, uh, let us see how red can try to gain some advantage. The check is delivered, forcing the king here. Now this is a commonly used tactic whereby after delivering a check, the <coughs> enemy king is enemy king is forced to the throat rank ways where it will be blocked by its own advisor so basically it's stuck to this uh, file and this would be a good opportunity for red to attack using uh, line attacking pieces like the chariot and cannon so after forcing the king to the throat rank black could uh, red will retreat his cannon refusing to trade material because if material traded it will be immediate draw now there are two variations that were discussed, is c6 equals to 7. Now would it be a good idea for black to play r4 equals to 5 to pursue the cannon? The answer would be no because uh, red would choose to sacrifice the cannon and they could deliver a check with c5 equals to 6. Now black would have to resolve this check uh, by moving the cannon away or capturing the red cannon. But uh, if he moved the cannon away, red will play c8 plus 2, whereby he will now threaten to go for the checkmate and thus capture the black chariot. So, uh, obviously, r4 plus 5 was not a good idea. And if the black chariot captured the uh, red cannon, uh, red will win because of the material advantage to present. So that is why r4 plus 5 is not a viable move. And black chose to play c6 equals to 7, uh, whereby the elephant will now be protecting the cannon and hoping that to advance the cannon later to aid in the attack. And red would counter with c5 equals to 6. Now this is a possible counter by red. So at this point in time, okay, uh, the cannon will now be applying a pin to the black king. The, and the black cannon and the black chariot in the same file. Now if uh, red black chose to sacrifice his chariot to capture the cannon, uh, red will still have one extra elephant left and this will be more than what black can handle. Now if he played, if he captured the cannon in this manner, hoping that, uh, hoping that red will play the advisor, black, red will actually counter with c8 equals to 6 for a royal pin. So and red would not capture the red would not capture the chariot but choose to capture the um, choose to capture the cannon first because the chariot cannot move and uh, the black chariot the black chariot would be lost so red black would have to be very careful and try to protect his leave his advisors around or he would, have, he would have a hard time trying to force a draw. So this is why this example is a little bit flawed, one of the reasons why. So c4 plus 5 and r4 plus 3, what about r4 plus 3, whereby uh, black would try to gain some space, whereby he would be prepared to push the cannon forward. 
Now it will be too late because again we will use the tandem cannons, the double cannons in tandem to attack, forcing uh, black to capture the cannon in this manner. And this would basically be a draw because even if black did not have this cannon, as long as one cannon and two advisors were uh, still available, it would be a draw for black. But uh, black would have to be careful of uh, red capturing either one of the advisors because if one of the advisors fell, it, it would become a quick situation for red. So this is another example why uh, red could actually play a 4 plus 3. And this is a, another example, another reason why this example is flawed. But back to the bot. Uh, in the bot, in the game, in the book, C7 plus 4 was suggested. And Red would retreat his chariot to protect the cannon. Now, can Red play C8 equals to 6 at this point? The answer would be no, because Black would simply capture the cannon. And then capture the other cannon. So this would basically be a drawing situation. So even if there were no cannons left, uh, as long as black had one cannon and two advisors, even without the elephant, this would be a draw. Now uh, c7 equals to 6 for a check will not work because, uh, sorry, this. Uh, will not do much for black but it will just only result in a draw so again this would be a draw so in the book uh, it was suggested that red take his time and retreat his chariot now uh, black would try to black would try to save his king with, with by trading cannons, but uh, red will simply play c8 equals to 6 again, forming a uh, royal pin. Uh, c7, the, the idea between c7 equals to 4 is now shown. They will capture the, uh, at this point, the red cannon and chariot will now pin these two pieces. So there are three possibilities. The first will be a, a check, and the king will just move to safety. The red, the black cannon. Uh, sorry, the black chariot cannot capture the red chariot, or this will be a check. So, uh, black uh, red would seem, black would usually retreat his you know, and his chariot, and after trading material, there will still be a draw. So this c4. Uh, R4 equals to 6 will not work either because we will simply deliver a check and after capturing the advisor suddenly red would not have a winning position A5 plus 4 would also be a mistake because again the chariot and ca the, ca the cannon would capture the black cannon and still apply a pin and red would have a winning position because of the presence of the cannon and the advisors here so this would be a, red, a win for red. So that is why R4 equals to 6. Or simply just retreating the chariot would perhaps be the best move. Now this is a slightly flawed example. And although it is flawed, uh, the, <coughs> the tactics used here are, are still valuable lessons that uh, one can learn when using the chariot cannon combination to attack and apply pins. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you like the work that I've been doing, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.